Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you guys all got out and did some camping this weekend. It's a good time to be out. Not so good in Michigan. We got rocked by some heavy, heavy storms. And I gotta tell you, the hiker held up really, really well. I was impressed. We got up there Friday and had a great time. Had a great meal. Did some hobo pies. Had to fry up some hobo pies. And then the storms came in. And about 1 o'clock in the morning, we got rocked by 60 mile per hour winds. And that hiker trailer shook left to right several times. I actually thought we were going over. But uh, it held to the ground good. I'm glad no one got hurt. Um, we had rivers and streams the next morning throughout the whole campground. Six inches of water flooded the campsite. Um, and this tree came down and just about took out a whole family in their tent. It was a little scary. So I have to say the dirt awning held up beautifully in 60 mile per hour gusts. Would I recommend that? No. I would put your awning away ahead of time. All the RVs did in this park. But I'll make a separate video just on the awning and how that went. So that got me thinking about the top four large accessories that I take along with my hiker. Sometimes you need extra shade if you're with a larger group. Sometimes you need um, insect protection. Sometimes you're looking for privacy, place to change clothes. Um, sometimes you're bringing kids along. So with that, let's get into my top four items that I take along with my hiker, depending on the trip, in no particular order. So when it gets super hot out and I need an extra place for some sun protection and I want as much breeze as possible, this is what I grab. This is my quick set tailgater awning. And just got it from the local sporting goods store. So my pros and cons is 12 by 12, easily fit a full picnic table underneath, maximum amount of ventilation, and it sets up pretty easy with two people. Not a problem. Some cons, it will take flight very easily in a heavy wind or uh, thunderstorm or so on. You really have to stake it down. I usually will add guidelines here and run them down in between the four on all four corners just to make sure it doesn't take off. Number two would have to be my gazelle gazebo. I'm sure you've seen these things in action. They have kind of the push out, pull out panels. Um, they've got like a hub system. Makes it super easy for setting up. You can set this thing up in like 30 to 60 seconds. And that's what camp should be all about is setting up quick so you're ready to go. Um, so major pros for this thing is it holds eight people. It can hold a full picnic table in it. It weighs 34 pounds. It's incredibly easy to set up and you get full insect protection. On the con side, it is large to store. You have to have a big enough area in your vehicle to be able to take it along. Um, it can get really hot on a muggy night. That's probably my only big complaint. If it's really hot and humid, you don't want to be in here. It does cut down ventilation. Okay, now let me show you the Gazelle gazebo with all the walls on. I'll show you all the extra privacy and reducing wind and water penetration. Let's see what that looks like. So there's five sides that actually you can attach the walls on. In the very front, I just have that six panel just hanging down. So if you needed absolute privacy, you wanted to use this as a changing room, you wanted to use this as a, a place for people to sleep, you could easily do it. You could just hang this down and protect this front. You'd have to probably stake out the bottom. There is no Velcro across the top header of the door or down the sides but you can stake out the bottom and I'm sure you could keep it in place and just push it to the side. Um, and you could definitely make it work. Let's talk changing rooms. So on our hiker, you can either do the wiggle worm and that's just basically getting in your hiker, wiggle the clothes off and wiggle them on. Not a whole lot of headroom uh, if you wanna be on your knees or something. So a lot of hiker owners and teardrop owners will have some kind of privacy tent. So a single person shelter, this is the Trekker. It's an older one, given to us free. Um, and uh, it works okay, it's decent. If you're in a tight campground, you just need a place to change your clothes and want to stand up, it works well. 
Um, it does what it needs to do. I guess you could use a shower room. This is an actual tarp material though. It's like a blue plastic tarp material, so it's not breathable. It gets really hot in here. You don't want to be in here very long if it's in the middle of summer. Let me show you the other option we use for changing clothes. So the other option is our Gazelle T410. We use this guy. It comes along with us when the kids come camping and it works great as a changing room. I can put, even if it's just the wife and I, because of the 60 second setup time, we can throw our clothes bags in here, extra gear, all that. People actually think we're sleeping in this over our hiker trailer. And it's actually the opposite. So just to summarize, this one on the end, privacy tent, don't use it very often. Privacy tent, sleep extra kids, have their own space, works great, bomb proof, love that thing. This one here, privacy tent, sleep extra people, great for spring and fall, large parties. And the tailgater, really hot conditions, maximum ventilation. If you get really hot and you need to have protection from the sun extra for a group, works great. So, hope you guys liked that video. Hope that explains a little more of how I've done my setup, the different equipment I own. If you guys got any questions, like, share, and subscribe. Put your questions down in the comments. What do you guys use? You know, uh, do you guys use something similar to this, or do you have a different brand that you prefer? Share it with me in the comments. I love suggestions. Love replying to the comments. And we'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye.